How to use adaptive subdivision in Blender. First, go to your render properties, make sure you're on cycles, make sure your feature set is on experimental, device, GPU compute, but it can work on CPU, but let's just put GPU compute. Now, if we select our object, go to shading, create a new material. Now, I have a material that I downloaded online, so let's connect the albedo, select the displacement, Let's select the roughness, drag them in, perfect. Connect the albedo to the base color. Connect the roughness to the roughness. Make sure it's set to non-color on color space, very important. Now with the displacement, make sure it also is set to non-color. Now with the displacement, we add a new node displacement. Connect the color to the height displacement to displacement and if we look here as you can see nothing's happening we need to go to our render view and as you can see again not much is happening so now we need to come here material properties scroll down to displacement settings make sure displacement is displacement and bump i mean we've only got the displacement connected at the moment but if you connect the bump just make sure you use displacement and bump as you can see it's pushed everything up now the problem is this plane hasn't got enough geometry so we need to subdivide this geometry and what we do is we come and we add a subdivide subdivision surface and adaptive subdivision this will only show if you have selected uh, experimental in the earlier step make sure you click simple put the dicing scale to well, I think it goes down to just a 0 0.5 like that. That will do for the moment. And now with our height here, we can modify the scale. Just change the HDRI. How the subdivision works is closer to the camera will be where there's more dense geo. So sometimes if we go in and let's, let's let this render. So for example, check this. So as you can see, not much. Now, if I've refreshed the adaptive subdivision, it's a lot nicer. So sometimes if you have strange results, make sure you just hit the refresh on here on adaptive subdivision. It should, um, well, if you move your camera around and you need to reproject it, just you refresh this. And there you go. Adaptive subdivision in Blender. Quick and simple. Thanks. Bye.